Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome to Blaster Master. Uh, basic story, it just tells in, like, little cutscenes. Uh, one day, Jason had a pet frog, and the pet frog decided to go hop around in the backyard and leapt onto this big radioactive box, grew to, like, the size of a house, and fall down a hole. And Jason, being ever so loyal to his pet, decides to go in after him. Finds this tank, puts on the suit, puts, gets in the tank, and here we go. Ah. Now, this is the uh, the American version of a game called uh, Something Something Meta Fight. Ah, that was bad on me. Oh, shit. And I'm dead. That was horrible. I don't normally die that quickly. Holy shit. Well, you can see how well this, this run's going to run out. Uh, another one of these games that basically are from my childhood. Took me year took me literally years to finally be able to beat the game. Um, you know, just because I was young and, and well, my reflexes weren't as good. Although of course I would argue that they're probably still not as good. But um, we'll, we'll we'll see how that happens. Ah, uh, but yeah, meta fight is just basically your generic get get in there and beat the aliens. They added the frog thing, and in fact, this series is the only one that not only it all it got a an adap adaptation for that uh, Worlds of Power kids book thing back in like the 90s like late, late 80s early 90s but that particular book was also made canon with the rest of the series the only one to do that Simon's Quest got one that wasn't done uh, Mega Man 2 similarly wasn't done that way um, oh god some of the other ones uh, Wizards and Warriors even got one but also that was not made canonical either now you're gonna think I'm crazy and I might be but, uh, whoop! Ah, uh, hop in the water. Yeah, see, because I've been through this, I know where to go, and, and I could talk a little bit more about different things, like different experiences in my childhood and everything. Um, I probably won't go too far off a path or whatever. Uh, so you can also, if you're watching this, you can actually use this. If you're stumped in playing the game, you can actually use this as maybe kind of a walkthrough, which is kind of nice. Um, which is something I never really thought about it thought about the labeling that way before because it's just me playing the game and, and sharing it with you guys and my experiences you know good and bad <laughs> um, I actually tried recording a run of this like years ago uh, but I kept running into a foul of like the, the different bugs that you can find in the game and, and just having relatively you know kind of really bad luck overall so I was like fuck it I'm not gonna do it um, but now it's you know a few years later I haven't done this in a while, so um, it'll be it'll be it'll be fun. Um, ah, oop, ah, oh, oh, you gonna fire at me? You gonna fire at me? Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's interesting how the spikes don't go up against the wall here. You'd think that's how it would work, but no. Hi, you look weird. Okay. No, oh, you, you things. I love the sound that you make that, that makes when you hit them like that. Just <laughs> we're already at the first boss. Oh, lovely! I don't remember what its actual name is, but we always called it Mother Brain. I don't know if it's its actual name or if it's just whatever, but it's a giant brain with well floating brain cells. Which, I suppose, being a floating brain, it already has floating brain cells, but, um... Oh, well. Ah. So, yeah. This is actually not taking very long. Despite my really stupid death at the beginning of the video, it's not taking too awful long. Um... But I'll keep doing it in the format I do most of the videos like this that are separated in stages. Oh, excuse me. Ah. All right, so obviously we can get up here, and we can get up there. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to do so. Hey, hop up here. Thank you. Okay, it's just going to be a pain in the ass to do so, and if I miss, that happens. Uh, and I know you people were like, well, why did you do that? Make things more interesting, that's why. For the sake of the video, man. You know, I mean, I've played through this game and I've beaten this game so many times over the years. Giving myself an extra challenge is, is not out of the question. 
I mean, that's why I would like the... Uh... Oh, wow, that was close. <gasps> yes, made it. Ah! Oh, you little shit. Aha! Vengeance is mine, you little bastards. Ah! There you go. And, of course, the first upgrade you get, you know, every, every boss, except for the final one, will give you an upgrade and, to your tank. And the first one, obviously, is a hyper is the hyper cannon. Gives you fireballs. And what do fireballs do? Well, they give you an extra punch, and they allow you to knock out this guy. Who, surprisingly, never hit me. Hmm. And in we go. Area 2. Uh, I want to end the video here, but this guy is on my ass. Come here. Go away. Okay. Ah. <sighs> I swear, level 2 is like one of the few... Uh, it might not be the only level that does that shit. Okay. So, yeah, that's where we're going to end it this time. <laughs> right here at the beginning of level 2. Um, yeah, not a bad start so far. A little, little short, but, you know, sometimes you just need some shorter games just to get out there and get them done. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you stick around for the rest of the series that will not run into horrible problems. It better not run into horrible problems this time. Oh, but at any rate, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that like button over there. Not only does it show me that you actually like the video, but if you have it set up right, you can actually spread it to your friends and get them to come see it, and maybe they'll like it too. Who knows? If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, and comments are always appreciated right down below. And if you want to help more directly, go to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. You can throw some money at me and hopefully get to a point where at least these things will pay for themselves. And, um, and if you throw enough money at me, I will give you some ad space at the end of these videos here. Oh, so until next time, folks, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off. <laughs>